All right, so we climbed up on top. You can see a couple of the planks have already been set. I got props to talk about. But more importantly, we got a plank flying in here. I guess you can get over here on the corner so the whole thing coming in. But a couple things. Notice that on the edge, before they put the plank in, they put down these very high dense plastic strips. You're probably wondering why. Why would they put down a plastic strip? Well, putting down this strip gives them the ability to basically slide the panel once it's setting down there a lot easier. Think of it as a, a little Teflon strip. Even though it's not Teflon, but it allows it to slide a lot easier. If you didn't put these strips down and you just set the concrete down there, the friction developed between the concrete and the other concrete would be much higher and it would be a lot harder to move. So little tricks of the trade here happening. Um, you can see it's lifted from four points. There's a tagline, right? The tagline is so that somebody out here in the field can grab it, basically spin that plank around. And then if you're wondering what those are clipped to, you can see right here, they embed these metal studs in the, co in the concrete plank. And basically, those knuckles just come over and grab onto it, and then they roll out. So it's a real, pretty simple lifting procedure happening there. The other thing to take note of, you know, as I'm walking here, notice how coarse the top of that panel is. Uh, you know, the reason you do that is this is actually going to get what we would term a topping slab. So from the back side, it's going to be six inches. On the front side here, it's going to be three inches. So basically taper down, and they'll basically dam up the outside of this, and the concrete will flow and make an L and turn right down onto that shelf um, and basically lock it in. Now, one of the things that is needs to be considered here is how do the planks and the slab tie into the superior walls and how do we get some rigidity in that system given that everything that's built off site it's not it's while it's bolted together here it's bolted together as a series of foundation walls and then the concrete planks are routed together but we need to be able to tie those systems of the floor to the wall so in comes Acme Thread. Yeah, this is an all-thread steel rod. Um, the one that they actually insert will be able to insert it. But notice it's not your standard thread. It's called an Acme Thread. So uh, think of Roadrunner. And what happens is, notice they have inserts here. And so this threaded rod basically huh huh they're better at it than I am I guess yeah there we go basically gets threaded in there in these inserts and basically hangs out and then in this spot that hangs out they'll bring in the rebar we'll get that proper 30 inch lap or so and then we'll maintain continuity across there and then basically what those are acting as inside the slab, they're pulling those walls together. So pretty neat little system. You see the joints here. They already have the quick creep here. They have a mixer here. So they're going to mix up the mortar and they'll basically grout these joints and get it all set up so that later on in time, the concrete guys will come they'll pour their topping slab.